This classic 1965 Ford Mustang is actually driving itself, which might explain the uneven steering and occasional near misses. <laughs> Behind the wheel, as a safety precaution, is Dr. James Brighton of Cranfield University. Working with engineering firm Siemens, Brighton and his team retrofitted the vintage Mustang with a suite of autonomous driving technology. We have a mixture of different sensors that are locating it in space. We can't use GPS alone because there's too much tree clover, etc. So we have to look at fusing different sensors and then coming up with an algorithm that will determine the best sense of what all those are telling you to try and make the best decision as to where it is at any point in time and then make control decisions based on that. Brighton adds that the car's 50 year plus lifetime gave it a number of driving quirks that created extra challenges for engineers. A lot of work had to be put into the algorithms and the control in order to try and manipulate the car's performance to an acceptable level. Siemens says the project demonstrates the potential for autonomous systems to be retrofitted for use in industrial applications. The reason why we're involved in this technology overall is of course not that we're in the business of retrofitting classic cars, but the fact that we want to increasingly help apply autonomy to a factory environment. It could be to other large industrial environments, quarries for example, where you could have autonomous vehicles. And there, the opportunity to be able to retrofit autonomy and make existing vehicles in factories or uh, turn them robotic in those environments, we can test and prove technology like this. But Brighton says driving a Mustang is different. I think most of the fun of an old classic car is getting behind the wheel and driving it. And that's why, he says, the car has the option to be driven in both manual and autonomous mode. Essentially arms the system, just here, and then we can switch from autonomous or automated to manual modes. At the 25th Goodwood Festival of Speed in southern England, the self-driving Mustang was challenged to complete the famous hill climb course. Despite a few steering corrections, the car successfully completed the nearly two-kilometer track without incident, and in great style. Julie Tabo, VOA News.